In this session, you'll learn how to bring your boat to a predetermined point by using a stopping procedure, giving consideration to wind, current, and boat traffic, coming to a full safe stop within 12 inches of your point of contact on the dock or slip. You'll learn four techniques to apply to bring your boat dockside or into the slip depending upon the predominant wind or current. And you'll learn to plan an escape route to use if your maneuver is unsuccessful. What problems are we trying to avoid? Approaching the docker slip at an angle where the bow is nearly head on, using too great an amount of reverse. Hitting the dock or slip or pilings or other obstacles, including boats at your location. Resorting to the use of body limbs to fend off the dock or slip. Requiring action by someone other than you as the boat operator to avoid a collision. And not having an escape plan if your initial approach proves unworkable. So how do we do it right? First, determine your angle of approach and plan for use of lines and fenders, based on which of four predominant wind or current conditions prevail. Coming directly towards your boat as you approach at an angle to the dock. Coming perpendicularly off the dock. Moving perpendicularly onto the dock. Or coming directly behind your boat as you approach the dock. Confirm that your passengers or crew have been briefed on your arrival plan and understand their individual responsibilities and are ready to proceed and your escape plan if the approach must be aborted. If possible, come alongside the dock or mooring with your bow pointed into the wind or current, whichever is stronger, for maximum control. Also use this technique when there is no wind or current. Have your line handlers ready and in a safe position. Use smooth throttle control and do not rely on reverse to dock at a predetermined point. Approach slowly at a 20 to 25 degree angle with the left or port side of your boat closest to the dock so that prop walk will help pull your stern toward the dock in reverse. When the bow is between one and one and a half boat length from the dock, make a smooth turn to bring the boat closer and almost parallel with the dock, shifting into neutral. Shift back into forward gear if necessary to help position the bow close to the dock. Center the helm and shift into reverse to stop the boat and use prop walk to swing the stern towards the dock. Gently increase the throttle if needed to bring the stern to the dock. Shift into neutral and signal passengers or crew either to toss lines to deck hands or to disembark using three points of contact for stability and tie bow and stern lines then add spring lines. When the predominant wind or current is coming off the dock perpendicularly, place fenders to protect the dockside front quarter of your boat and approach at a 30 to 45 degree angle at near idle speed. Add power as needed to continue forward movement. When your boat is about a half boat length from the dock, turn sharply to bring the bow or forward quarter of the boat to the dock. Hand or carefully toss a spring line attached at the bow or forward quarter of your boat to a dock hand and direct him or her to tie it to a cleat at the center of your boat or midship. When secure, continue to apply a small amount of power in forward gear to move the boat into the dock, attach the stern and bow lines to the dock, turn off the engine, and add a second spring line attached to the rear quarter of the boat to complete the docking. When the predominant wind or current is coming onto the dock perpendicularly, place fenders to protect the left or port side of your boat and approach slowly at a 20 to 25 degree angle with that side of your boat closest to the dock so that prop walk will help you pull your stern toward the dock in reverse. When the bow is two boat lengths from the dock, make a smooth turn to bring the boat parallel with the dock and shift into neutral. Shift back into forward gear if necessary to help position the boat next to the dock. Allow the wind or current to push the boat to the dock and secure the bow, stern, and spring lines. Turn off the engine. When the predominant wind or current is coming from directly behind you, approach the dock at a shallow angle with the left or port side of your boat closest to the dock so that prop walk will help pull your stern toward the dock in reverse. Use occasional touches of reverse power as needed to slow your progress. When you are two boat lengths away from the dock, steer slightly away from the dock and then shift smoothly into reverse gear. Bring your boat to the dock and secure the stern line first, and then the bow line. Secure the remaining lines and turn off the engine. After the boat is secured to the dock, Enable your passengers and crew to safely disembark. With practice, 
you'll be able to bring your boat to a predetermined point by using a stopping procedure, giving consideration to wind, current, and boat traffic, and coming to a full safe stop within 12 inches of your point of contact on the dock or slip. And you'll be able to use one of four techniques to bring your boat dockside or into the slip, depending upon the predominant wind or current.